Wasabi, you guys. We have a pretty much we, a Gaussian integral because you can already tell this is a Gaussian integral, and we have a quadratic. Looks like a random quadratic polynomial at the exponent. So of course we're just gonna force this into a Gaussian integral. The tedious thing about this integral is just completing the square, and you just have to be very very careful. So here we have two. I'm gonna multiply. Uh, <laughs> take all the pretty much just divide two everywhere so that we get x squared and then notice that the negative is also factored out too so we should have like something like plus plus whatever so uh, we have x squared plus five half plus three halves so that's literally what we have here and we need to that's an x we need to s complete the square and here notice that we have to do uh, five mm, yeah we have to do five fourths oh god five fourths squared that's nasty but we can't really do much so so we need 25 over 16 25 over 16 plus three halves three halves is like what uh, 24 oh wow okay so this is like negative 1 over 16 so what we have here is we have an e to the negative 2 of x plus 5 fourths squared minus 1 over 16 okay well in that case we'll go ahead and distribute it back right let's distribute it back we get negative 2 x plus 5 fourth squared and then here we get like plus 18 technically I'm sorry no 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 uh, 2 over 16 that's 1 eighth so we get 1 eighth so we get like 1 eighth pretty much I don't know why I wrote it like that I'm gonna put an e like that okay so now we have uh, e to the power of one eighth. So we'll make sure that is one eighth. Um, this is just simply if you just do let, let u equal this, it's not gonna. There's really no effect here. So now we just have what square root of two. So we have like e one eighth square root of two times square root of pi because we have from infinity to uh, from negative infinity to infinity and so it seems like our answer is just this and let me check the answer key yeah e to the 1 over 8 square root of pi over 2 this is exactly what we have so this is indeed our answer okay so the Pretty much, it's not really a, a difficult integral. It's difficult if you don't know what Gaussian is, but um, the most annoying part is just completing the square because there's just, there's a lot of fractions here, so uh, not too bad. But it's just this is a little annoying. But here we here here is our answer. Okay, so I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.